Six years ago, my family and I, we moved here to Kauai, which meant for me, leaving everything and everyone I ever knew. And with that, I realized that I had two really strong desires. And one was to continue to learn and grow in how to read the Bible, how to read it, how to understand it, how to apply it to my life. And my second desire was to find community, to find people that I could do life with and share with and uh, turn to. And shortly after moving here, I got to meet someone who, who shortly after meeting, I realized that she too wanted to continue to learn how to read God's word. And so I said, hey, why don't we do that together? And we were planning on meeting later that week and she was talking to someone who also wanted to be doing that. And then that friend told a friend and that Sunday I met someone else. And before I knew it, that following Tuesday, the five of us, there we were sitting on my couch, um, introducing ourselves and praying with one another and diving into God's word. Fast forward six years later, not only are those five women and myself still meeting, our group has now grown to a group of 13. 13 young moms who have come together each week to dive in to God's Word with one another, along with sharing life, sharing our struggles, sharing what we need prayer for, what we need help with. And this group has become so much more than just a once a week Bible study. Like this is our community. This is who we reach out to for prayer when we need something, who we go to the park with to play, who some of who like pick up my kids to hang out with them in the week, to pour into them and to disciple them. And this community, we actually, we call ourselves, we're in the book of Genesis together right now. And we call ourselves the Genesistas because that's what we are. We, we've become sisters in Christ who are there for one another and support and encourage and uphold one another. And I, if, if a small group is something that you're not a part of, I would just so strongly encourage you to, to look around. Who is around you? Who is someone that you might be able to pour into, that might be able to pour into you, that you could start doing life with, that you could come together to, like I said, share life, to be in the Word, to pray, or go through a book or whatever the Lord has for you, or to even just start doing life, to hang out. Maybe you just need to go to the park, or I mean, I guess I'm talking like mom. <laughs> Yours might look different. I encourage you to look around. Who could be your Genesis star, or who could be your Bible bro? Who could be the people that you start to do life with, to share the real things with? We walk through so much in this life, and we are not meant to walk through it alone. Church really is not just Sundays. We are meant to be doing this together. So look for that community and see who God has for you.